It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. We're gonna fight, 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 fight for women's rights. It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. We're gonna fight, 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 fight for women's rights. Hey everybody, I am T. Erica Patterson, the host of the Fight for Women's Rights Battle Against Patriarchy. I'm producing a great video series that's showcasing the advances of women, awesome women entrepreneurs, and advocates who are making strides for women all across the world. Today we have with us Courtney and Morgan, who are championing champions for women's reproductive rights, and they have a great product that they've developed that is going to help every woman to have an easier time in her feminine prowess. So ladies, let me allow you to introduce yourselves. Um, Courtney, would you like to go first? Yeah, I often go first. It's like a running joke, but because I came out of the womb first, I technically go first <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how that continues. Um, so yeah, I am Courtney, I'm the older sister. I'm one of the co-founders of Orchid. I, I always wear many tiny little hats. Morgan like does little cute, little yeah, hat. she puts on like cowboy hats every time. But um, we wear tons of little hats, but the space that I love and feel passionate about is community engagement and um, social warmth, like how we all connect. Hmm. Yeah. I'm Morgan. I'm the sister of Courtney slash other co-founder of Orchid. I'm mainly in the project management, product development side of Orchid and making sure all the pieces come together and therefore many little hats are involved. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know why. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Tell us about Orchid though. What is what is Orchid and what what are you adding to the world? Yeah, so Orchid is a essentially a cycle tracking app that also connects you to this 24-7 on-demand doctor network. So you can track your cycle, track your period, track your PMS, so you can better organize and manage it. And then if need be, you can connect with an OBGYN instantaneously. It's 24-7, it's on demand. So you get the help you need exactly when you need it. Wow. Well, what yeah. inspired this idea? This is amazing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I mean, it always comes back to period talk. Uh, for Morgan and me, we're sisters. So like just a late night conversation chatting about our periods. Um, I will say that in the last like two years, there's been way more like vulnerable, intimate information shared than in like the, I don't know, 25 years that we've been sisters, 24 or more. Um, okay. I just, yeah, you're 24. Uh, <laughs> so it was born out of like shared uh, struggle, shared feelings, shared experience. And then um, beyond that, just like kind of recognizing um, a lack of, uh some like a lack of really f f Ooh, sorry i heard something in the background and my brain followed the noise and not my thoughts hey, so yes. what i <laughs> <laughs> but essentially like if you actually uh are like morgan and me and have downloaded every period tracking app and then deleted it or found that it didn't actually meet your needs or kind of reflected you and your personality or wasn't conforming to what you actually needed, then we are on the mission to make the app that is for you. Like it's like Morgan just like quickly summarized, but it is, it's ad free, it's free for life, it's HIPAA compliant, it it never sells your data, but it also like, it's actually for you and not for the stereotype of the menstruator out there that like perfectly bleeds for four days and like is always regular and on time. I just we're here to make something better. What um, problem specifically does this app resolve? Why do I need this app? We kind of looked at the accessibility to menstrual health care, and we found that 73% of menstruators and women in America 
are looking for more affordable and easier access to healthcare. And so that kind of really kickstarted what we call Orchid MD, which is that 24 seven doctor network. And so we just, we're striving to make healthcare more accessible really for the average user. Mm -hmm. So why would I reach out to a healthcare provider about my period? Why do women need that type of access? I feel like a lot of people, sorry, I feel like a lot of like women and menstruators don't know when they should reach out. I think for me personally, sometimes I'll convince myself like it's not that big of a deal or whatever. And so like with spotting, for for example, some people don't know when that is a big deal and when it's not that big of a deal. So maybe you just had sex and now you're bleeding for days after, but it's not technically your period. You should be talking to a doctor. But from like lack of education, not everyone knows that you should be connecting with a doctor. So we really want this app to really help you seek when you need medical attention. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you mentioned uh, before the show um, a tampon tax. Can you explain what that is to people and how it's impacting us as women? Yeah. So the tampon tax varies by state, um, but essentially what it is is the it's a product that is deemed non-essential. It's a luxury item. And because it's classified in that way, there is a state tax applied. So when you purchase your tampons, you have an additional tax that's layered upon that. And what it's doing is harming any individual's access to period products, like the affordability of that product. Um, And in some states where I, I feel like my favorite example is like, in some states, condoms are not taxed, but tampons and period products still are. And so the, it kind of comes down to a gender inequality, right? Like you can tax this female product because it's a female product, but like the other things are just fine to go. And so it's, it just, it creates an unnecessary barrier to basically like safe menstruating. Are you telling me that in addition to state and um, local taxes, there's an additional tax for feminine hygiene products? I mean, it comes down to local, like state law, but I, 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 I wish I had my numbers up right now, but it's, it's essentially like when you check out, there's a specific, like, because this product is a luxury, there is a tax applied to it. Wow. It's sad. I mean, what? it's the there's a lot of arguments around why it exists, essentially because it brings in a lot of revenue, like I think s- million, like 16 million, yeah. depending on the state. And lawmakers haven't figured out, depending on where they're at, a, a plan that everyone's happy with. And I think what Morgan and I are disappointed in is that they that this isn't a luxury item, it's a necessity. Like, you are basically misunderstanding menstruation by taxing it and considering it a luxury product. So, yeah. Morgan, do you have any opinions on how we can get this tax removed or what work we need to do or what have you been doing? personally as an advocate in this area to bring attention to this issue. Yeah, um, well, Courtney and I, like via ORCID, we've been actually working with lobby lobbyists. Courtney can expand more on that, but we're also with this 2.0, we're calling it ORCID app 2.0. Basically, when you download this app, you can opt in to sign a petition to abolish the tampon tax. And We're really excited about this petition. We really think it can really make a difference, especially talking to these lobbyists. Courtney, can you talk more about that? Yeah, um, well, just to reverse, more generally, ORCID, part of our mission is to provide that education that we feel like is missing. So 
in our social networks. We're trying to provide just like ground level education about these things that at least for Morgan and I, it took us a while to really get embedded in. So we've partnered with Operation Period, which is a nonprofit based out of Oregon um, to do a series of like, yeah, to do a series of Instagram lives where we're, we're talking about basically like menstrual freedom, which is something that that organization coined. It's a phrase that just, it encompasses everything beyond um, like where we are at now. It's a goal for the future. Uh, menstrual freedom is all encompassing. Um, so. <laughs> I love that um, title, menstrual freedom. Hello. Yes, that is amazing. <laughs> Wow, so you guys are business owners, you are tech savvy women, you're you're going into the tech world, and you're also um, awesome supporters of women's rights. I do appreciate having you on to discuss your advocacy and what you've placed in the world to help women. How can we find you if we wanna support you, if we wanna learn more about ORCID or just your personal um, journeys? Well, for anyone who's interested in this app 2.0 that we're actually going to be launching publicly in March. I highly suggest joining the test flight um, group. It's only for iOS users, but all of the feedback that we get through test flight group users is implemented. So you get early access to what is going to be dropped in March. Um, and then on social media, you can find us almost everywhere as at go underscore orchid. Um, and if you want to learn more about everything, like absolutely, yeah, social media is our place. We also have a Geneva where we're kind of cultivating community and we call that overflow. So yeah, there's places where we're holding, <laughs> we're holding community. Um, yeah. All right. Well, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you ladies about your innovative ideas and your advocacy for women. Everyone out there, please do make sure you follow Orchid and see what these ladies are up to in trying to help women to prosper with men menstrual freedom and combat the tampon tags. There's a lot of work to be done. And I'm so grateful that women like Courtney and Morgan are out here making it happen. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right, everyone out there, be sure to sign up for the Fight for Women's Rights Battle Against Patriarchy and stay tuned for more awesome interviews with great women doing amazing things in the world. I'll talk to you guys soon. It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. It's gonna be a fight, 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 f